you know, when we flush a toilet, we think that it's going away. And really, there is no away. Uh, it's going somewhere, and it's having consequences in the place that it's going to. Pee and poo contain a lot of uh, nutrients, including nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium. Um, and those get sent to, uh, straight downstream, whatever watershed you're in, they end up accumulating in coastal areas or in local water bodies. Instead of fertilizing local farms, they fertilize harmful algal blooms. And these are a huge ecological issue in the country and around the world. At Rich Earth, we are taking human waste and turning it into a resource. We have around 200 uh, people in the community who are here and donors, and some of them have been for almost 10 years now. We bring it all back here and uh, we pasteurize it. And then at that point, we work with a bunch of farmers and we apply it to hay fields. And so all of our farm research projects both include a technical research side, but they also include a social research side where our social research team is doing interviews, getting to know their experiences with using the urine fertilizer and any other questions and concerns they have. From the very beginning, it was as much about putting it into practice and showing people this is how we do this, not just doing a research in a lab and saying, this is how someone could do this. Humans have been fertilizing with our waste for millennia, and many places still do and don't think of it as waste. So really the kind of strange thing that's going on is that someone has made us flush our nutrients into clean, potable water. The nutrients in our waste are things that we actually expend great amounts of energy producing for agricultural use. We're basically just taking that stuff and putting it where it's useful, as opposed to putting them in a place where then we have to clean them up. We got, we got most of the circle. We just need to connect it so that the waste that we generate gets used to grow what we need. Finding extra nutrients, that's the foundation of our wealth. And our, by wealth, I am not talking about money. I'm talking about the greenness here, all around. The key words are distributed and decentralized. Um, but I think also democratic, the idea of nutrient sovereignty, where a community can produce and use the nutrients that are produced in that community for the farms. The farms feed the community, the community gives the nutrients back to the farm, especially when we look at where farms currently get a lot of their nutrients. How much are we spending on producing nitrogen? Taking the human nutrients out of wastewater is the most expensive part of water treatment. How much does that cost us as a society? And if we were actually using the urine, how much would we save? We need to be able to come together in community to deal with the issues where we are and where we live. Not only where we are now, but you know, what kind of future uh, do we want to see for ourselves on, on this planet? Everyone who uh, pees or <laughs> eats food <laughs> gets to um, kind of help make that future a reality.